up everybody? Welcome to the very first viewing for Out of Pocket Nutrition Supplement Review. My name is Taylor Donegan and today I'm going to be taking you down a journey with a high stem, high focus, high pump pre-workout from E-Tech called Dark Horse. Now, as you can see right off the back of the nutrition label, it's not that attractive. You're not going to be able to see it straight off the shelf unless you're looking for it or unless you're looking around, got a couple questions to ask somebody in the store. Hey, I'm looking for a high stem pre-workout. They show you this. The second you see that badass horse right there, it's going to send you off and you're going to be like, man, I need this. Get into right now. Get a nutrition label. This nutrition label is going off to Jungle Juice flavor. Uh, there's two other flavors, uh, Pineapple Colada and Rocket Bombsicle. But let's get right into it. In here you got one scoop. It's a 12.3 gram scoop about 25 servings per container. Uh, you're gonna wanna take this with eight to 12 grams of water about 30 minutes before you work out. I've been taking it for a couple months now. It starts to kick in about 10 minutes after you take it. So I wouldn't take it before you, you head to the gym. I take it when you get to the gym. But anyway, in here you got six grams of citrulline malate, a little bit higher than a clinical dose. Clinical dose is three or four grams. Uh, citrulline malate is a precursor to arginine, which helps boost nitric oxide levels, help improve blood pressure levels, which improves nutrient delivery to working muscles for increased muscle pump and improved vascularity. Next up, we got 3.2 grams of beta alanine, which is exactly the clinical dose, clinical dose 3.2 grams. Beta alanine increases the concentration of carnosine in working muscles, uh, buffers buildup of fatigue toxins such as lactic acid, hydrogenimes, Effectively improve muscular endurance to get more reps out of your workout. Next, we got one gram of agmatine sulfate. It's also a nitric oxide booster, pretty similar to L-citrulline. Acts a little bit differently by it inhibits the enzyme that breaks down nitric oxide. So first, we got citrulline is a precursor to arginine, and arginine is a boosting nitric oxide. Then we have agmatine that makes sure the nitric oxide is not breaking down to the enzymes that break down your nitric oxide. Through that, we get improved blood flow for better muscle pump and better nutrient delivery. Next, we got one gram of choline bitrate. Also at a clinical dose, it aids in overall health to promote a healthy liver, gallbladder, and kidney function. Also uses fat in the liver and gallbladder to turn into energy. Also been shown to promote good heart health and it is located within the cell membrane, which is used to improve muscle coordination, contraction, and stamina. Moving right along, we got 500 milligrams of L-tyrosine. It's also clinically dosed. L-tyrosine is directly involved in the creation of dopamine and adrenaline, essentially reducing fatigue and increasing focus. Next, we got 400 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous. Caffeine anhydrous is the CNS stimulant which enhances physical energy, reduces fatigue, boosts psychological informants. Uh, normal dosing is two to 300 milligrams, so this is a little bit higher than normal dosage for that added pump. Next, we got 1,5-DMHA. DMHA is another CNS stimulant that increases the uptake of dopamine, uh, no adrenaline, which results in enhanced euphoria and alertness and also increases your pain threshold. Next, we got 1,4-DMAA. 1,4-DMAA is another neurological, neurological stimulant that, it, that causes a spike in energy similar to what caffeine is going to give you, but it'll enhance your focus and your pump. Two milligrams of Yohim Bean HCL. Yohim bean is basically the bully in the group. It gets this first into your alpha-2 adrenal fatty acid areas to assist in blood flow and, and also slight fat burning characteristics to push around those fatty acids to get them moving. And last but not least, we got 100 micrograms of huperzine A. Huperzine A, which is a nootropic, which uh, crosses the blood-brain barrier. It fights the enzymes responsible for breaking down acetylcholine. Uh, to me, this is an all-around perfect pre-workout. Uh, it's high stem, high focus, high pump, basically get everything you want out of it. Now, the only thing that this is missing is vitamins, basically. Uh, I would put a couple of vitamins in it, vitamin C. Um, but other than that, and I'm sure anybody that's taken it is along with me, this is a pretty perfect pre-workout. Not much to change about it. Um... I guess the biggest thing that I would change would be more attractive nutrition label. Uh, Cause I'm gonna be honest, when at first, when I went to buy this, it didn't stand out to me. 
Um, I actually had to ask a couple questions. What was the best pre-workout in the store? Uh, guys over Nutrition Corner pointed this straight to me. Uh, shout out Black Jesus. Shout out Andrew Mac Williams at the Virginia Beach and Oceania Nutrition Corners in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, so yeah, I only thing I would make is just a little bit more attractive. But let's get into the mixology and show you how this looks when you put it in to your eight grams of water. Uh, I've already taken my dosage for the day when I worked out this morning, so I'm not gonna take it again because uh, I don't feel like my blood, my heart pumping out of my chest and me passing out when nobody's home. But let's get into it. Here I got my eight grams of water in my blender bottle already. You'll find your 12.3 uh, gram scoop, pretty good size scoop. Go ahead and even it out. So at first, right off the bat, you can see it's got kind of a uh, pinkish tint to it. Uh, that's that artificial food coloring and artificial flavor that's in it. Go ahead with the mix. Now, didn't really take a lot of effort. And straight off the bat, you can see there's no chunks floating around. Uh, you can see straight off the bat the artificial food coloring. There's not a whole lot of it in this, so it doesn't take away from all the nutri nutrients that are in this. Uh, I can tell you right now, the flavor at first, when the first time you take it, it's gonna give you that, uh, the, the pucker factor, like you just ate a lemon. Um, but, jungle juice, probably my second favorite flavor. Uh, the flavor is amazing. Uh, it's not something you're gonna scoff at. It's not something you're gonna be like, oh, gross, I don't wanna take this anymore. Jungle juice, amazing. My personal favorite flavor, which the church corner was out of when I ordered this one, is uh, Rocket Bombsicle. Literally tastes like a sour bomb pop. But when it comes to this performance in the gym, I can tell you right now, this lasts the entire workout. Uh, whether you're taking an hour long workout, two hour long workout, whatever. I took an hour and a half long workout this morning, went through the entire workout, and didn't see any bad side effects. I've uh, never in the entire time I've taken this, I've been taking this for probably a year now, on and off. Um, never had any bad side effects. Always lasts throughout the entire workout and uh, usually doesn't diminish the, uh, the, the pump, the focus, all that, the entire workout. No complaints from me. E-Tech, Dark Horse, E-Tech Yell did a great job uh, developing this. Uh, like I said, the only thing extra that I would put in would vitamins. I want to say thank you everybody for watching. Click the link below to subscribe. Check out my Instagram page, also linked below. And thank you very much.